Gary, what do you anticipate from an atmosphere perspective? I'm sure you've seen plenty over your career here, but this one seems to probably have a different feel. Yeah, yeah I mean, I anticipate this, this, uh, this atmosphere to be pretty big. It's going to be very loud, especially when we're on defense. Hopefully, you get the crowd to get, get really loud for us. So yeah, it'll be really fun. What, what do you think needs to change between uh, the experience of Barbo in the spring and, and here in the fall? Right? We just have to be the more physical team. And I, I believe that if we play physical, we'll come out with the W. And we just have to play a clean game and do what we do best. And our best is good enough. Um, with you guys coming off the bye week, kind of how much do you think that's going to help heading into the first conference game of the season, especially going up against NDSU? Do you feel like the bye week is going to help you guys? Yeah, this bye week I think it was very beneficial for us because we had some guys banged up, and uh, we also get a head start on our preparation for this game. Obviously, this is kind of a renewed rivalry, but it felt like over you know, the off season on social media and stuff like that, it's getting a lot more intense with you know players on the teams and stuff like that. Do you feel like this is more of a rivalry game at this point? Yeah, I think. I mean, this is a really good rivalry in the state of North Dakota, and I think it's just it'll be a really good matchup, really good game. Hey, Gary, what do you think is the biggest difference between this UND team now and the last matchup against NDSU? Uh, just being more experienced. I mean, we got, we got uh, mostly everyone back from last year's team, and I just feel like, yeah, it's more experienced, really. <laughs> what do you think needs to happen differently from a defensive perspective uh, uh, I just think we need to go into the game, play very physical up front, actually at all levels, defensive line, linebackers, and DBs. And I think we just need to buy into what coach has been teaching us this whole week and just trust our fits, play our fits, and then I think we could play a good game on the defensive side of things. You know, last, last spring you guys had beaten South Dakota State going into the NJSU game. Is there anything to be said about, like, a, um, you know, do, do guys – does NDSU carry a, a mystique that uh, psychs out players just with the number of national championships they've had? You know, is, is there a mental game that plays into it at all? Uh, maybe for other teams, but I think for us, uh, our coaches do a great job emphasizing keeping the focus on us. So throughout the week, we're really just thinking about how we're going to play, what we're going to do to win the game. And I think they do a good job with that and keeping us locked in. So I don't think we really think about that uh, on our team. So Now coming out of the Drake game, um, Kind of hard to look back. I feel like it was a long time ago. Yeah. But, uh, um, offensively, you, you started a little bit with the, with the five turnovers. But defensively, when you guys look back and review, how, how did you feel that you guys are playing right now? Uh, I feel like our defense is playing great. Like I said before, just doing our jobs, and that's really the biggest thing you can do on defense. Because if you know I'm filling the gaps up front, our defensive line's filling up the gaps up front. The guys behind us can play and make tackles. So. That's the biggest thing is just doing your job. And then Coach Halink has been talking about it all week. It's really 11 guys one-on-one, -on -one, just win your one-on-one -on -one matchup. So if you beat the guy ahead of you, we're going to play, play really well on defense. So really important to us. Do you, uh, I have to imagine you anticipate a very physical matchup. Uh, last time you guys played, they ran basically a fullback 20 some times. Right. Uh, is that what you're, you're looking to? Uh, yeah, I mean, when we play NDSU, you watch the film, you know, they're a really mean offensive line up front. Haven't really looked at their D-line, but I could guess it's going to be the same thing. But uh, we really emphasize being the most physical team out there at all units of the offense and defense. So we really got a chip on our shoulder, and we got to go in and play really tough. So that's the plan. Hey, Jim, what's the biggest difference that you've seen about this UND team this year versus the last time you played NDSU in Park? Uh, I think a lot of the younger guys that you know were newer last year, the spring was being their first season. They they didn't really know much about the rivalry. I mean, I guess it's a newer game, but or a newer atmosphere joining into the Missouri Valley. But I think this year guys are a lot more fired up and take things. I wouldn't say more personal, but take it a little bit more to heart and are ready to play and really are going to treat this game like a rivalry. So I think that's a big difference that we have from last year. Talking about NDSU on offense, they obviously like to run the rock, so there's going to be a lot of battles up front. Kind of how do you guys? Do a game like that where you know it's going to be as it is? Uh, really just controlling what you can control. Uh, you line up in whatever position you're going to be, whatever technique you're going to be, and you just got to win that technique. So like I said before, it's a bunch of one-on-one -on -one matchups, and just you just got to go in there and win your one-on-one. -on -one. So that's the goal for us defensively. Jalen, just, just talk a bit about how much you enjoy the opportunity to play in games like this, big games, rivalry games, ranked teams. Talk a bit about that. I mean, there's really nothing better. I mean, that's what everybody wants. You know, we're in high school. We want to go play Division One football, and this is kind of what you dream of, going out there to a full crowd, playing in a rivalry game. And 
I think it's really exciting for all of us. It's a great opportunity for us to go out there and show them what we got and defend our territory. So it's really exciting. Looking forward to it. You guys have won 12 in a row at the Alaris Center. You got to go back to October 2018, the last time you lost in that building. How much pride do you take in that streak? And what would it mean to extend that this weekend with the win over this team? Yeah, I mean, it's extremely important. You know, got to defend your turf. That's what every football team emphasizes at home. You got to defend your turf. So probably the most important thing going into this week, and we're going to really be talking about it this week, is defending the turf. So big deal. Uh, one more thing. I like the mustache. Is that, <laughs> <laughs> is that specific for this week, or is that just the look you're going No, for? I've been rocking it. I've been trying to get kind of like Jake Richter. So uh, I've been taking notes from him. <laughs> You got a little ways to go. Yeah, 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 appreciate it.